good evening and welcome to everyone for joining this wonderful session on uh, Google App Sheet No Code Workshop. We will focus on smart data capture. That's the core uh, topic for today. And we will be doing this workshop around uh, this concept. What we will try to learn mainly over here is like we'll try to understand what is the typical flow of a data capture and how it happens and how we can make it a smart data capture and why there is a need for this concept of smart data capture and how we can take it forward with Google App Sheet. So this is what we will be sharing. Uh, I would like to welcome everyone who has joined. I see a couple of participants have joined. Welcome Ravi. Welcome Vijay, uh, welcome Santosh. Uh, great to have you on the session. Hi, sir. Yeah. Hi. So we'll be sharing uh, details over the session. And if you have any doubts, we have uh, the Q&A at the end. Let me start sharing the uh, agenda. What is that we are trying to achieve today, right? So typically, this is the agenda for us for today, right? Uh, we just look into the introduction of this workshop, why we are conducting this workshop, how it is helpful, what are the applications, how it can take us to the next level and, and all that stuff. Then we try to focus on our fourth topic, uh, which is more of smart data capture, why smart data is required, how people are looking at smart data and how it can become uh, the core ingredient going forward to grow your business or to fuel your business. And then we try to understand how we can do this, achieve this using uh, the no code platform, which is from Google called AppSheet. AppSheet, just to give you a high level uh, update, AppSheet has a wonderful uh, functionalities on the platform and we will try to learn a couple of them today. Then we will go with the live demo where we are trying to showcase the complete app of a KYC. Let's try to build uh, a smart little app for know your customer kind of a process typically goes with any business. So we'll try to use this as a uh, case and we'll build it live and we'll show the demo. And finally, we have plenty of time or plenty of room for the question and answers. Don't miss on the demo because we are going to look at two or three instances of the uh, solution of how we can make it very effective and how we can get this apps work for us in a much, much better way, right? So are we ready to start? Great, let's move ahead. SolidWorks is a no code destination for all your uh, problems that you want to solve using no code. At Solver, we work with more than 12 trending no code based cloud platforms, catering to multiple industries, which are like startups, could be MSMEs, trading, industries into manufacturing, et cetera. And we create solutions to support various business needs. We have so far, 20 plus custom no code solutions for quick development in a week's time. So this is why we highlight the benefits for customers. Anything you think on no code, reach out to us and we will be able to help you. Better. Moving on. SolveWorks main goal, as you see, is to empower citizen developers. Let me just try to bring a quick note on what is citizen development. Citizen development is like anyone who is connected to kind of data capture can build beautiful apps. There is no need, he has to have all the technology skills or all the, uh, I mean, industry trade related certifications that makes him a developer. He can just use his flow, he can just use his thought process and build beautiful apps. Why? Because typically these no-code platforms work on something called as VC, which is what you see is what you get kind of editors, where it makes it very easy, like drag and drop components. You can build solutions very quickly. It's very easy to assemble and very easy to share. And typically, 
we follow a unique methodology called AMPLE, which is app making in profit line engagement. What we believe in this process is build an app only if you want to put that app to benefit you in the profit making line. Don't build an app because you have to build it. Try to ensure the app has a full productivity, full value that is getting delivered and then build the app. So that's that's exactly our unique methodology. And that's what called as AMP. And as you can see, uh, we are partners with two major players in this industry, which is Google AppSheet and Microsoft Power App. So we focusly work on providing various no-code solutions using these two platforms. That is why uh, we are happy to present this kind of workshop to you so that you understand the benefits that can come from this workshop. Moving on. In our quest to help people or help developers or citizen developers get better connect and better understanding, better access, we have created a very close forum called AmpleNet. And you can follow us on website, on our website, on LinkedIn page, on WhatsApp group. Also, we have a specific app for AmpleNet, which is for these kind of activities that you can follow us, right? And our main job is to help conduct uh, these activities for no-code developers through this forum, right? We conduct various workshops, like the one that you're seeing now. We organize events. Uh, huge events that can include people across various project uh, spheres, across various geographies and all. And that helps a lot. And also we help promote your products if you are part of the AmpleNet. If you are a member of AmpleNet, we register your products on AmpleNet community and we promote your products in the AmpleNet community also. So that gives a great benefit for all the users who are on AmpleNet. So what are you waiting for? Join the community today. If you need more details on, I'll be able to share these all these links you can follow and uh, connect with us. So this is a very interesting slide. I would like to share this with you. This was the first ever online hackathon conducted by Solveworks for no code, very focused for no code. And the beauty of this was the entire event was conducted online and we had almost like 200 participants who took part in this event. It's more like a hackathon and we gave a solution which were uh, proven by three winners of this event who won the respective prizes as you can see on this slide. And this is full sponsored event uh, with, with complete uh, attention from all the industry leaders, right? And uh, we also had very interesting participants from various countries like India, US, UK, Germany, and Singapore. And they took participation in uh, their race to be the winner, right? So this is what, to the level of uh, uh, empowerment we are bringing for no code development. And we are trying to bring up this event every year. It's an annual event. Other than this workshop, this is an annual event, right? And uh, we are also planning to launch this in, uh, again, this was done in August 2020 of year 20. So we are again trying to revisit the same event this year as well. So keep tuned. You have a lot of things to learn from the hackathon. Moving on, coming to this exclusive no-code workshop. This no-code workshop is just our commitment uh, to show how we can bring the various use cases that are available in our day-to-day -day life. It could be business, it could be uh, empowering things or empowering people associated to our business and making it happen. And this is exactly what we try to do. And today we have chosen a very interesting topic, uh, which is smart data capture. So we will be going through this smart data capture activity and we will try to help you what we will be covering today. Great. So for today's workshop, we have dedicated 120 exclusive minutes for this workshop to help you train and understand how this entire Google AppSheet platform works. So we will go through a step-by-step -step approach and we have dedicated, as you saw, uh, as you saw in the agenda in the start, we have dedicated a very good amount of 60 to 65 minutes for the demo itself and 25 minutes for the questions. So we want to help you really 
get the uh, knowledge as well as straight away start using app sheet after this workshop so that that's where uh, our commitment is and today during our workshop we will try to build a smart kyc app kyc in the sense know your customer so most of the times we come across uh, situations where we have to register customers so we will go ahead and we will try to see how we can make this platform build a very smart app which can help us do things much better and that is exactly we were trying to uh, highlight in our topic today which is smart data capture friends this is not just this workshop we have whole bunch of things loaded for this entire year until next ample thon which is like uh, ample thon 2022 the entire year we have two events two workshops every month lined up so it's your chance to learn and experiment and keep improving and become an expert in the same skill so just keep tuning tune to us join ample net and you will gain a lot of things and you could see on the on the slide we have very interesting uh, set of uh, workshops that are lined up so don't miss it that would be a great benefit to all of you moving on let's catch up on our core topic today which is smart data capture essentially the uniqueness of this workshop is connecting two things one explaining about the topic and try to bring the topic into live action in the demo that's how we are doing this very uniquely we are not just teaching uh, something and leaving it we are trying to bring the application which is relevant to what we are teaching as the point of the connect so you understand the business situation plus at the same time you learn how you can implement that using google uh, workshop google uh, amp app sheet as a no code platform solution so this makes it much better for you and you can have uh, leverage of understanding the concept and implementing the same and learning the same from the live demo that we will do at the second part of the session right so let's move on what is all this smart data capture we are talking typically when you look or imagine a business or a information system that revolves around business this is how it looks like if i have to coin this all this ecosystem in one word you can coin this as more as a centralized crm where a lot of things that matter are really the apps that are core business apps that uh, companies would have invested a lot and it is very difficult to uh, go back and make any change in that like for example if someone has implemented uh, a erp or a crm just making a little change to that will take a lot of cost and a lot of process a lot of effort so in a way if you look at what are the things that literally trouble this kind of business data capture one you need specialized skills second you definitely need someone called as an it team third every change that you do has longer implementation cycle and the the most challenging part is every time you are you might have to end up doing twice the work like you create a form and you again send for approval and again in the process you might again re enter we do a lot of stuff so there's always twice the work right and second when you have these kind of scenarios with so much of uh, data that is getting clustered and all so many things that you can do across to support your business right like it could be data creation apps it could be data analytic apps it could be data reporting apps all these kind of apps right what they try to do is they try to uh, bring the data together in volumes and volumes and that's where the cost of having the solution goes tremendous and that's where businesses have to come down on this so definitely two things we can understand from this so there are so many things around it so it definitely let's say i want to start something in a different way in an innovative way i can't do it because it it has its own process and it has a cost so it lacks innovation and it is at a high cost now how can we eliminate this cost and all why we need innovation because when we innovate our process 
we get more productivity because the products keep changing as per the customer. The customer keeps changing as per the market. So it's a vicious cycle. So all the time you have to keep engineering your products, keep evolving your products, keep connecting your customers in new and new ways so that they are with you and they understand your products much better. Just to quote an example here, earlier we used to have a lot of e-commerce apps, right? Now, most of them are just looking at either Flipkart or at Amazon, right? So that's how we have moved out of that website approach of purchasing uh, products from online to just an app that just helps us, you know, fingertips to, to purchase. So this is innovation. This is where the customers are going. But with this kind of data capture, it, it makes a lot of challenge for people to understand. Now, how can we fuel productivity? From, from our current situation. The reason we have to fuel productivity is innovation is no more a need of technology. A lot of times people mistake innovation for technology. No, it's not about technology. It's about how we can evolve yourself, how we can pro provide your products much easier for the customer to understand. As you move on, if you see, uh, if you go to the two generations back, people who never understood uh, if you go back to your uh, parents or grandparents, maybe grandparents and tell them how Amazon works, it takes very lot of time for them to understand. But if you go to your uh, siblings and say how Amazon works, they'll be easy to catch up, right? Because the changes, the customers are different and the, the way they understand things are different. So for a business, the, the productivity lies in when you can adopt, when we are ready to support a demand for customization and scalability all through. Every time you have to continuously uh, do rapid customizations and scale it. And a study says almost like 74% of these strategies are taken care by all the leaders across all the business uh, that, that are growing right now. So if you see, for example, where was Swiggy five years back? No one knows about Swiggy. No one knows about Zomato. But now everyone uses Swiggy, right? So that's where the rapid adaptation or rapid development that we have seen in customizations for the business. Now, second, most important thing, where you can bring productivity, how it can fuel productivity. When you remove the IT skill gap, the IT dependency for your staff or your, for your workforce or anyone, when you remove the IT dependency, that's when a lot of, uh, wonders can happen because employees can start thinking uh, in a different way and those things can bring a lot of support for your solution. So if you look at, again, the survey says 52% of challenges related to IT skill gaps can be removed with this kind of uh, approach to fuel productivity. And the last one, as I quoted already, the examples of Amazon, Flipkart, Swiggy, Zomato, what we are seeing is smartphone adoption. Our customers are very smart and moving towards the smarter adoption much faster than what we think, right? So this is where we have to find productivity and that's where it can fuel our business to grow. Now, how to do this? It is very simple. We can look at one word, the way we see centralized app, we can look at one word called something like decentralized app. That's where the smart data capture happens. This is typically like asking apps that are built by the person in charge, right? For example, I work on the sales process, let's say for my company. Instead of asking me to go and log in into a sales CRM or a sales force and all, if I ask, if you ask me to do, what is the process uh, to take care of the sales process? I would be able to better do it, right? So I can quickly connect to what my job I'm doing and I don't have to follow something that is already pre-defined uh, or which is already existing in the market, right? So let's say I'll give an example of Zoho here or uh, any other CRM you pick up, right? You pick up any other CRM for a customer creation, you might have 120 fields. I don't need all those 120 fields. I just need two or three fields to know who is my customer, what is his product, 
what is this uh, kind of uh, application he is looking for or what is the sale he is looking for and what is the benefit he is looking for that's it and had i done my promise thoroughly for my customer so basically what we are trying to do is we are eliminating process inefficiencies through this kind of process when you give the access to the person himself to build his own app so that is the beauty of this right second you will end up making people more resourceful resourceful in the sense most of the time what happens is people are stuck let's say we have a process right to to let's say we have uh, our customers the the way is customers call us they inquire is about our products we sell the products they come and take the products or we deliver it and then the payment is made let's say this is the process now if the customer comes and ask me can i make make it a payment by check or can you deliver some uh, custom products if i request you so if i am the person who is uh, talking to the customer and i am not aware what is that i am supposed to talk what i do i wait for the approval i wait for looking the information i wait for giving him the clarity i wait so end of the day i am i am making myself wait at the same time i am making the customer wait that is where we have to understand making employee resourceful is let him understand what is required let him go fetch it and give it to him let's say if i had access to all the products all the processes all the information all the decisions all the price discounts everything at my desk so depending on how the customer interacts i can quickly organize myself and share the data so that is one of the great advantage of having this smart data capture so that definitely creates an opportunity because when i responds uh, to my customer uh, quickly and fast the customer actually finishes his quest or his job quickly and he can also give me another opportunity maybe he would have come to only purchase one product but with looking at my performance and my efficiency he might actually give me another product also to buy that is a new opportunity so new opportunities get created similarly uh, the data whatever i am handling it is very portable in the sense if i am on leave to, today or tomorrow then whoever sub, uh, replaces me on my job they can also go through the same organized approach and they don't need to look for anything that is the beauty of the smart data capture so this is how the smart data capture can work and finally the best way of having smart data capture is like imagine you have four or five people working on sales accounts and all ask them to build their own kind of uh, data collection points and keep them with them so what happens even if they change if if they are on leave if they go away from the job when you recruit someone else you still have the benefit of going through the organized way and that's exactly what the smart data capture is and this will reduce a lot of risk it will reduce a lot of cost and you are more a business which is driven by app and this is nothing but uberization i'll just give an example earlier we also had the taxis we had the commuting we had everything but what uber has done is brought that everything driven by an app the same thing is what swiggy has done the same thing is what zomato has done the same thing is what amazon has done this is nothing but uberization of your business meaning you make your business run by itself and the solution is make your employees more resourceful give them more uh, access to build their own uh, uh, knowledge um, own apps using their own knowledge and try to deliver the maximum product this way is what the smart data capture app and this is what exactly you have to fuel your business to get to the next level great so that's that's exactly the the way you also find innovation you find opportunities you you find seamless connect within the team because everyone knows the job even if i am if i am on leave i don't need to worry because there is an app or something which can actually drive the new person without having any it dependency 
without having any IT knowledge. And that's exactly whatever the data is captured because the, the content of the data that I'm capturing is designed by me as a person who is doing that job. So that's that's where it helps a lot. And that's exactly what we refer to as smart data capture. So now you understand, if you have smart data with you, you can definitely fuel your business to go to the next. Now, let's move on to the next part of our uh, workshop, which is where we focus on understanding Google App Sheet. Google App Sheet is a wonderful no-code platform. And this